Schools are about to open at Australia's largest road safety event for high school students at Sydney Olympic Park. Reporter Sarah Stewart is there for us this morning. Sarah, how many students are expected to attend? Yeah, good morning to you, Brooke. It's going to be over 24,000 here in person over the three days, but there'll be many more also logging online to watch this. And they're going to be learning the real-life consequences of road trauma for them, their family, for their friends. And I'm joined by Dr Ken now. He's from Careflight and also a doctor at Westmead. You've seen a lot of trauma in your, in your job. Yeah, I've been doing it for about 30 years. One of the big things that we see is people who are speeding a little bit above the speed limit. We're seeing an increase in trauma, unfortunately, over the past few years. One of the things we're going to show the, the students who come today and we're going to show you now is what happens if you go 10 kilometres faster. So you can see behind us they're setting up a, a mannequin. Where that mannequin is, is where they've already done a run, these are the people from Trent, starting way down the corner, speed up to 50 and where they stopped. What we're going to show you now is what happens if instead of doing 50 they're doing 60 kilometres an hour. And it really does have big consequences. All right, well, we'll get them out of the way because we don't want anybody to get hurt here this morning. I've been trusted with the flag, so I'm going to wave them down. All right, if you can jump out of the way, we're going to show you what happens. All right, off you, off you go. Here they come. So this is going 60, 60 kilometres, kilometres an hour. 60 kilometres an hour instead of 50. Oh, it feels fast. Oh, OK. So Not good. And the, the reality is, is that they're still doing about 30 kilometres an hour when they hit the car. Okay. So that difference between 60 and 50 means you effectively are hitting that patient mm. at 30 kilometres an hour, my patient at 30 kilometres an hour. And this increase in trauma we're seeing, it's not so much the people who are driving our new modern big cars that have got all the safety equipment, it's people we're hitting, okay. it's delivery drivers. Yeah, it is really frightening. And you know what, 60 kilometres an hour, Brooke, doesn't seem that fast, but we've just seen the consequences of that. Absolutely, really concerning. Thanks for that, Sarah.